Hello and welcome to another Tech Inter video here on the Quotas Legacy channel. In this video, we'll take a look at modifying the Tech Inter screen resolution and changing the DPI for it. Uh, DPI is basically the density of pixels per unit. And what I want to do basically in this video is to address several possible concerns that people may have with the Tech Inter, you know, screen, the, with the Tech Inter window. Okay. I have two different methods, two different, uh, techniques that I want to discuss in this video and hopefully one of them should resolve whatever issue you're facing okay so the very first thing the very first issue that I want to address is the DPI uh, once when I was making a take inter project I happened to notice that the text appeared a bit blurry so I wanted to sharpen it a bit okay so this is where I came across this technique in a rather niche area and I thought I'd make a video on it and actually discuss it so I'll discuss this technique first. It's basically to do with the C types library in Python, okay? And I'll show you what it does in a minute. And for that, let me go ahead and just create a few widgets here and there, okay? So we can notice the effect of our screen sharpening. Okay, text is equal to something like hello world, okay? And then we'll just pack this in, okay? Give it a little padding, okay? And don't worry, all of this will make sense, okay, and what I'm doing here. Let me just go ahead and code this in first, and then I'll explain. Okay, here's the button. And something like submit, button.pack. Pad x is equal to 5, pad y is equal to something like 10, okay. And now let's go ahead and run our code. Alright, there's our window. And it looks a bit small, so you know what I'll do? I'm going to actually give it a fixed size. Geometry. Geometry. I was mess up the spelling here. Okay, 200 by 150. Okay, so here's our taking take the window now, and we can see the text over there and the button over there. Now, what I want to do is change the screen density. Okay, I want to condense the pixel amount so that it appears more sharper. So what we do actually is that there's a simple line over here, a simple function call from the C types library that if I just use here, I copy pasted it because it's a pretty long call. So it's from the C types library and the function name is called set, set process DPI awareness. So what this does is basically uh, affects the DPI in which your screen resolution renders. The tick render window, of course, not your actual screen. So if I run this now, you'll notice that the tick render window looks a bit smaller for one, and it also appears a bit sharper. You can see that the text definitely appears a bit thinner and uh, a little less blurry around the edges, okay? And the same goes for the button, actually. Let me just do that one more time so that you can notice the difference, okay? Notice this appears a bit larger and the text appears a bit uh, darker and a bit larger. Okay, take a good look. And now I'll do that again with the, with this function being called. Okay, so this may or may not be what you're, what you're looking for. Okay, this is something rather interesting that I thought that people may find, you know, you know it may come in handy for some people because it did for me once. And other than this, there's one more thing that I want to discuss, which is basically... Uh, it's basically to do with changing the scaling in Takeinter. And this has nothing to do with the C-Types library, by the way. Uh, it's something natively built in within Takeinter. So what I'm going to do is go root.tk.call. This is the name of the function, call. Okay, and over here I'm going to write tk, then scaling as the second parameter. And the third parameter is basically where we adjust the scaling. Okay. Now, uh, the scaling is basically by the amount, the amount by which we're scaling the widgets and text inside the take inter window, okay? This doesn't really have an effect on the screen size, okay? Uh, but it does affect the widgets and text inside of it. So, for example, if I do 2.0, okay, we'll see what happens. Okay, there you go. You can see that we just scaled the size up by quite a bit. And let me just increase the screen size a bit. Okay, and let's do that again. And let's just increase the size even further, the scale. Okay, so here you can see that uh, the scale is being affected. 
And this is, is something that I've seen people, you know, interested in when they're trying to come up with zooming features and stuff. <clears throat> because you can actually do this in reverse as well. You can increase the scale, so you can also decrease the scale. Like if I do 0 0.75. So what happens is that it kind of, well, the scale goes down quite a bit. It's kind of drastic, honestly. Uh, so let's try something like 0 0.9. And... Uh, it's still pretty small, okay? If I try 1.0 and then it should appear normally. Or not so much, no. Okay, if I uncomment this. All right, but basically, yes. If you want to come up with a way of zooming in or zooming out or something, or you just want your widgets to appear larger, okay? And then, of course, you can use the taking to scaling. Okay, you don't need to go around and changing the size on every single, you know, widget because that would be kind of annoying, right? If you had to go and change the width and the height into in each widget. So if you just want to change the size of all text, all widgets inside of your Tinkerjoy window, you can go ahead and use this. Okay, so yeah, these are, these are the two techniques that I wanted to discuss and I hope that, uh, you know, they'll come in handy for you. So yeah, we'll end the video over here. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and you know to support it and leave some feedback. If there's anything you want to see on Tickinter or any other Python topic, then do let me know in the comment section below and we'll try to address that. Okay, later.